faith in the department. Cops gotta stick together. <laughs> Talk to her now or something? No. Okay. What the hell do I do to freaking move this guy? case of a seeming accident except for the bell symbol drawn by a gloved finger in the dust on the window. Seriously, not the most intelligent cops, eh? That's not supposed to happen. You need oh, to hurry. See that one there. <laughs> I'm walking through you. How does that make you feel? Alright. While you do that, I'm gonna look around a little bit more because I haven't done that yet. Alright. Came from here. See? I think shit like this. I didn't see this before. Hey, Baxter, you still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, you let me know. Baxter's still working on the Belco case even though he's being reassigned. Why was he reassigned? I can't tell you anything, son. Not an homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... This place stood the noble fortress against the forces of the British Crown, erected in 1777. Or 1775. I can't remember which one I saw. Wasn't paying that much attention. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it for there. What an ass. He was wrong even when he was right. Baxter thought he could blackmail me with my past if my as if my past had already done all the damage it could. <laughs> This guy really did not like him. What's his problem, man? And Grace, no legal middle name, female, 22 years old, no immediate family, publicly went by the name of Madame Agatha. Novelty for fortune tellers. Okay, then. <laughs> nice. You gotta love a polished game, you know? Okay, so I guess that's how I get up here. Should have realized I would have been going up there regardless. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Oh, 
can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or, or think anything creepy. <laughs> That was creepy. Hurry up. You need me to look at it. Okay, man. Get out. I got this. Sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Rex is grateful to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness. I didn't know she had a mental illness. Okay, Douglas, police progress. Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play except bell symbol. No prints, no DNA, no immediate suspects. Okay, Douglas, personal info. Karen Mary Douglas, female, 37 years of age, accountant, unmarried, no criminal record, no violent relationship, socially known for Wednesday night Ouija board parties. Or Ouija board. Visit the station. I used to go visit Rex down at the station, but it's been years, so when I went with Ronan today, it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by a room they've got dedicated to the belt color case. Everything they know or even guess might be related, it's in that room. The strange energy, energy of the people coming in and out of that room, you'd think there was a religious observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, that seems to be it for that. Get your ass out of there. I guess these guys really don't care about answering their phones. What? You clearly saw that. Suspect is male, likely without immediate family, able to move about the city freely, only spotted a handful of times near their crimes. He's been spotted, but never caught. That must pretty, like, suck for these detectives, man. gets his badge. Big day. I never thought this would happen. Between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past, so much could go wrong, but it happened. My man has a badge now. Looks good on him and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. <laughs> Gotta love a guy in a uniform. Uh, basic woman trope. Almost trouble with the law. I always knew that there had been trouble, but I didn't know his official arrest record was that extensive. Much worse than I thought. Felony after felony, going back to childhood. It's like his life is already ruined. How can I join my life with his? Okay, two more. Name 
clothes, cop. It was quite a trick Rex pulled, advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him most effective as a plain clothes cop. Ronan was very relieved. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 for some reason I can't see this guy um, wearing a uniform. This is the freaking explore in this game, man. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. Pattern of behavior in a killer's motives that the police are not seeing is the focus of Joy's mother, but she's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. That's never a good idea. When it comes to dealing with a killer, I think you should take everything you get seriously. Alright, that seems to be everything. Close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. need two more of those guns. Should be around here somewhere, I think. Am I missing? Like a place that I didn't check. Oh well, whatever. Pop up somewhere. I suppose, usually do. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh. The desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Sounds mugshot confidential. My mugshot. I thought Rex suppressed this. Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. You need to find a witness's mother's... 